Alright, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates Conquest, Vahim Cloak 55. Uh, the last time we continued on with this chapter where we got Xander, and, well, I've taken care of this side entirely, so all that's left is this side, and as I've said before, I would, uh, yeah, as I said I would, I put everyone onto this side to fight against these last enemies. So let's see, Keaton is still level 16, so he definitely needs some more training. Anyone else still level 16? I don't think so, no. Okay, Keaton. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't mean that. I did not mean for Keaton to kill this one. Keaton can fight against these two. Um, it's just a joke. Um, now then. Let's heal up Salas. We need units with good resistance. Yeah, a lot of magic. <laughs> Let's see. Oops. Like this. Close enough. Actually. That would work. And we can't crit because the Shining Bow can't crit. Um, and the enemy's HP will drop down to 2. That's fine. I'm gonna use the stale bread, because uh, Salah still got the... ...skill that drops the enemy's HP lower. And at least this way he'll already recover 20%. There we go. Now... Can I increase this to a 100% accuracy? That would be great. Um, no one can reach. Yep, definitely not. Um, if I were to stand here, would you have a 100% accuracy? Okay, perfect. Then let's get rid of this one. <laughs> with Keaton, even though, yeah, flyers. But yeah, 100% times 2. I don't think I have to worry about anything. Alright, level 17 for him. For Keaton. Um. Nice level up. Definitely, yeah. Darting blow. So, more speed for Keaton when he initiates an attack. Meaning 20 speed whenever he attacks first, so. Well, he would not outspeed these two yet, but. Yeah. Um. This one's got a steel short bow. 15 damage. I feel like my Charlotte right now is really, really strong on the defensive side. Unlike normal, uh, unlike normal Charlottes. <laughs> Maybe it's thanks to the aptitude. Um, let's see. 18 damage. Sure, but maybe if I weaken him first. Um, if he care to land me the iron lance again, Thank you very much. Okay, so maybe if I weaken him first. Perfect. Now that should do it. She can she can be, get crit, and if either one of them weapon triangle trade. Okay, so if either one of them hits, it'll be the end of the enemy. So yeah, we meet again. nothing to worry about. There we go. I win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the units over there. Separate. Um, sure, let's get you closer as well. Wait here. Can be stealing more gold, that's fine, nothing to worry about. Um, 
level 17. Charlotte's on a good way to reach level 18. Let's see, who could still use some more XP? You, for example. And same for you, Leslo. Defense plus 3. That he'd have 16 defense. They deal more damage when attacking back. So they have a attack power of 28 right now, but I'm not gonna attack them myself right right away, at least. Um Let's put you here. Speed check. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the steel steel sword then. Practice katana? No. Minus three, that's probably already enough. Yeah. Let's just simply use the iron sword then. Rally! Um, let's get Charlotte closer for some nice stat boosts. Oops, um, I want... There we go. Effie can take back her lance. Wait, and let's get Silas over there, and now Felicia can heal up both of them. Perfect. She's on the best way to level 20, but she's already a promoted unit, so... I won't have to think about anything. Especially, uh, especially with her, like, uh, seal timing, because she can go up to level 40 right away. Um, because she's a special case of unit, of course. We've already had that with Jacob, so, it, so I'm not gonna go into detail. Um, Steel Sword, okay. Nothing to worry about. In turn, let the enemy, enemy move in. Alright. Like Goodbye. Why am I feeling shy now? And I'm gonna give the other one to Leslo as well because Well, um actually have a good reason. Steel sword would be twenty. I could weaken him down a little, just a little bit. That's a bit too little of a little bit. Um, steel. Did that work? Perfect. Well, I sh maybe I should have switched to a more precise weapon. Well, it hit. Nothing to worry about, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, 100% accuracy, Selena's blade. Let's take care of this one. Like this, then. Alright, good job. Let's transfer over and separate the two of them. Um, you heal up Silas. Now then, let's position my units, separate. Oops, um, separate. There. You can go that far yourself. Like this. Okay, um. Separate. Can you. Yeah, Alexander, you're just gonna stand there in the meantime. Um. Separate this way. Same for the two of you. Separate this way. Pair up. And switch and separate this way. Okay, perfect. And turn. Let's start by. Who am I gonna send in? Um, the enemy does not have any magical weapons if I can recall correctly, so I'm gonna send an Effie. 25 defense. Only Xander can top that, but Effie's not reclassed yet. So, there we go. Yes. I haven't seen anyone suspicious around here, but I uh, keep looking. Huh? You wishing to inspect my face? I'm sorry, I can't allow that. 
I'm not hiding anything, I just... I, hey, stop that! Unhand me, you fiends! I guess I have no choice. Bah! I must be getting sloppy if you were able to see through my disguise. What? Wait, that's a Norian pirate, but he leads his man just like a ninja. And how did he, how did a common pirate manage to sneak aboard? This doesn't add up. I'll get to the bottom of this later. For now, all that matters is stopping him. Yeah, let's start by <laughs> lowering his HP to a good low. Now that you've found me, I have no choice but to defeat you all. Say goodbye to your men, your war chest, and this ship. And this ship. Two damage, four FE. Alright. And he's got the... <laughs> Grizzly wound ability as well. <laughs> and counter. Well, that's nothing to worry about. I wouldn't have died even if I would have hit. Um Yeah, I can I can attack her from afar right now as much as I as I like. Um Let's have Nux have a go at the at it then. Um Trade oops, no, trade. You're going to use the which one's the strongest? Weapon Triangle Dual Naginata is the strongest for this. You're going to use these two. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna use the Fimble... Oh, Fimble Weather. Um... I'll be your shield. There we go. So who's gonna get the kill? Who do I want to get a level up? Um, let's get Felicia, let's have Felicia get a level up through healing, if still possible. Yep. Level up to level 19. Skill speed, luck, and resistance. Okay. Um, you're gonna, you're not gonna be the one to finish off, except for if you can get a high enough accuracy, but I strongly doubt that. Okay, so, do I want to get the kill? Or, um, I mean, a lot of people would get a level up from this. You hit accuracy, accuracy slacking, but I could attack from afar. Let's give this a try. Um, sure. Sure, why not? Yeah. Went down fighting. You're stronger than I expected. And that's that. No level up for Percy, but good experience. And chapter 16 is done. I got the 4,000 gold that was still left in the war chest. It's very contradictory if you think about it, because Leo was like, Yeah, hey, let's use the money he gave us before we depart. And then we didn't even get the chance to, then we departed and... Yeah, now they're stealing our money that we got. Oh well. <laughs> this battle's over. Surrender quietly if you know what's good for you. <laughs> You're right, we lost. So now what? Well, what are you going to do with me? For what it's worth, I'd much rather live than die. Don't move. Don't move a muscle. If you even breathe wrong, we shall end you. Stay in a cabin until my sister here decides what you what to do with you. Okay, okay. Yeah, sure, whatever. Why not just execute me right here and now? As though I could ex as though I could expect anything else from a Nor from Norian royals. <sighs> you must know you deserve to be punished after what you did. You may be dressed as a Norian pirate, but I don't understand. Why would you board a ship for Hoshido when our country is at war with them? It doesn't make any sense. Can you explain? Uh. <sighs> like a dirty thief needs a reason to do what he, what he does best. He and his men likely just hopped aboard without thinking things through. Trying to reason with him is a waste of time, Azura. Uh. Azura? 
So you're the... You know who I am? How? Go on. No more games. Tell me what you know, or we shall kill you and be done with it. How do you know who I am? Yeah. I know because... I was one of the people responsible for kidnapping you all those years ago. Uh? What? <sighs> I was commissioned by a Shiden strategist named Yukimura. I'll let him through the secret tunnel that runs beneath Castle Krakenberg. You're a Norian yourself, aren't you? How could you do such a thing? I'm no Norian, but a ninja from Koga, a land that exists only in memory now. Long ago, my clan proudly served the Hoshidan royalty. These days were long past, but I still felt I should be, should help avenge their should help avenge their loss. Besides, I figured if war broke out, I could use the chaos to take down Mikushu. <laughs> I don't think Yukimura even realized he had enlisted a genuine ninja from Koga. Hey. I recall learning of the destruction of Koga by the neighbor by the neighboring Wakushu. Rumor ha rumor has it all who lived there were brutally killed. I'm surprised you were able to escape. Is that why you became a, thie a, a thief? I had no choice. After Koga fell, I was chased from home and separated from the other survivors. I had no choice. I was a child at the time. It was either steal or die. I chose to steal. I eventually found myself in Nor, where I, ca where I carved out a life for myself as a pirate. And now that war is upon us, you wish to return home to exact, to exact your revenge. Yep. Yep, spot on. Hmm. A former Hoshida ninja, seeking revenge for his massacred people. Really? No, not Hoshidan. Kogan. God damn it, Tuor. <laughs> no, uh... Yeah. Koga. <laughs> not Hoshidan. Whatever. Kogan. Please, you seem like a reasonable, per reasonable person. My name is Shura. Have mercy and spare my life, and I swear you won't regret it. I promise to serve and protect Lady Azura, and to help you however I can. Or is, does that mean Koga is, was part of Hoshido? I'm not sure. I'd still say Kogan. I'm not crazy about the Hoshidans, and I feel bad for helping, ki for helping kidnap your princess. Huh? So first you stole from us, but now you want to be our ally? Yeah. Yeah, sorry about the stealing business. Think of it as our showcase of my skills. Come on, what do you say? Wouldn't hurt to have somebody like me around, right? No. Don't listen to him, Tuor. He could be lying through his, te through his teeth. For all we know, he's a Sheedan spy. He could warn them we are coming. Hate to say it, but if we don't kill him now, it could endanger us all. True. I agree, sweet sister. No matter his reasons, he tried to hurt us. There's no way to ensure he won't betray us to those nasty Oshidans. I'd never stop worrying about you if that mongrel was on the loose. Silence. The choice is not your, not ours to make. What will you do? What will you do, Tuor? As our leader, this is your call to make. Are we going to kill Shura? Or let him go? I'm not gonna kill Shura, no. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him alive and have him join my ranks. I almost pressed well. the left button first. <laughs> I almost accidentally killed... Wow, okay. Wow, just wow. Leo, Camilla, I know you believe this man is... Uh, this man to be dangerous, and maybe he is. But in my heart, I feel that we can trust him. I will allow him to join our cause. <gasps> you mean it? Thank you, milady. Yes. After all you've been through, Shura, I feel you you're long overdue for some mercy. But no, but know that if you if you place even one toe out of line, I will kill you myself. No one endangers my family. Got it? Yeah. Understood, milady. I swear on my fallen people, I will never betray your kindness. Thank you, Lady Tour. My life is yours now. <sighs> oh, Tour, you're too much. You're much too soft. Do you recall that this is a war? That's part of why we love you so much, dear sister. But I hope that kindness of yours never comes back to haunt you. I see. If that's your decision, then we shall respect it. 
I will make sure words of this never reach his father. If he knew you intended to make to make to make an ally out of one of Azura's kidnappers, he would never trust you again. Yeah. I know. Thank you, Xander. I don't know what I'd do without you. You'll never have to find out, little princess. Headline. You'll never have to find out. Well, about that. <laughs> Birthright. Um. Let's save the progress on this file. Alright. Updating the world. That's build new buildings. For example, the Lee statue. Once I've done something else, I'll move. Build. The Lee statue. There we go. Um, and anything else? I believe I still need to place Charlotte's statue. Yeah, right. Um, that would be over here. For a reason. <laughs> well, that reason is pretty obvious, I'd say. Because there aren't many u units left to be paired up. And, well. Yep. <laughs> Charles Alexander will marry. And we'll have another half part right after this episode, so. This will be the position where Xander's statue will stand. Um. I, but I can upgrade other stuff first. Um. Golem. Golem. Nah. I guess I'll just upgrade the private quarters. Um. Record hall. I don't actually know what it does to be up when I upgrade that, but that's fine. Lilith's Temple, definitely. Apparently that is all. Well then, let's visit Lilith's Temple once more. Before we end this part, we are only 22 minutes in after all. Um, berries, because that's my castle's stuff. And berries are magic nutritions. Um, nutrients, whatever. <laughs> Level 56 and magic increased. Alright. Hello, Nina. Wheat. What is the story behind wheat? Um. <laughs> yeah, no. No, uh, sorry. Um. Just out of interest, I don't actually have an, have anything planned for you, Paladin, Hero, Bow Knight, Wyvern, Lord, and Megal Knight. Your defense is 21, but you're not exactly you're not exactly good at any, at anything. But I think you might do a better job in some other class. Um, I'll take a look at that. And I believe... Where is he? Um, sure, out there. I'm right, I'm right over him. Um, let's see in what classes I can put him. Last time I played, I put him into the Master Ninja class. I mean, he did have a great resistance that way, but... I'm gonna go with something else this time around. Let's see, he will be... Weapon level E. Uh, maybe I'll leave him in this, in this class. I'm not sure, I'll decide that in the half part. Um, by the way, uh, Charlotte will also change her class in the half part. <laughs> Yeah. Well, what do we do for the rest of these minutes for this part? I guess I'll just end this part early. Now I don't really have much of a choice. Um. Yep. And after this part, there will be. Uh, yeah, after the half part, there will be more child quests. So, yeah, that stuff's gonna be going on. So, yeah. 
this is it for this time. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time then, when we have another half part. I just ended this episode early here. Until then, bye.